Hey Cloud Gamers, the Outlast Trials is now available on GeForce Now and what a stunning game this is. Not just in the graphics, but the quality of the game overall is just absolutely fantastic, even though it's only in early access. This is holding an incredible 20 to 30,000 players a day since it launched and you can see it running here at full 4K 120 frames per second. And if we show our settings as well, we are at the highest graphic settings that we can set of everything on Epic. And this is so well optimized, we don't even need DLSS on either. And you'll see that this holds a pretty much 120 frames per second solid at full 4K with no issues. This is an absolute glorious game. But if you are slightly squeamish or you are not a big fan of jump scares, then this game will certainly ruin your nerves. It takes a bit of getting used to some of the sections of the psychosis and going through into the trials can be somewhat disturbing, so do be warned. But for the horror genre and for co-op games in general, this is absolutely phenomenal. Voice communication is key in this game or just communication in general. It does have a great ping system. But you will be glad to know that the GeForce Now mic pass-through was working perfectly fine. So although you can't hear me, I was talking to the other players here without an issue. So they could come and help when I got myself into trouble. Or I was getting slightly lost. It takes a fair amount of getting used to with the layout of the controls. As well as the layout of the maps. You will die several times in the early stages of this game. Until you've learned how to manipulate your enemies, but you will get chased a lot. It does get easier and you do unlock some little gadgets later on which make it a little bit simpler and learning how to manipulate enemies in the dark and hide when you get yourself in trouble really does make life a lot easier. You just have to not let the psychosis get to you and stick with your teammates as best as you can. Overall, this plays phenomenally well on GeForce Now and I wouldn't be surprised if this runs at max settings on the priority tier at lower resolutions, but the ultimate tier certainly does make it look fantastic at 4K 120 FPS. I'll leave you a bit more of the gameplay here with Amy talking so you can get a better feel for the gameplay and performance. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. Eddie? 